Hey, in this video we're going to have a brief overview over the new Serena Teapot Edition to Genshin for players just getting started with housing. I won't be going over every aspect of housing, but I'll make future videos explaining my personal experiences through this edition. To start the quest required to unlock the Serena Teapot, you first need to be AR35, and to have finished the Liwei Archon quests. And then after that, you'll want to go meet Madame Ping in Liwei, then you'll start the story quest there. Once you solve the situation with Madame Ping, you'll finally have access to the Serena Teapot 5 star gadget, which you can place down to start your experience with housing. You'll notice that once you put down the pot and try to enter, you'll be tasked with choosing one of three environments you want to start with. Don't worry, because you can always change later and you aren't stuck with your decision permanently. I went ahead and chose the mountainous setting for my plot. Once you enter, you'll be given an assistant who will maintain upkeep for your subspace by the name of Tubby. They'll be your way to access a multitude of different things that you'll need for housing. Talking with Tubby will grant you access to some options, such as the furnishing crafting menu. You can refine your materials into different colored dyes, and refine silk flowers into fabrics. For the dyes, I would recommend using mints and berries for their respective dyes, and honestly any of the red dye requirements are very easy to find. Initially, you won't have any recipes for creating furniture, however you will gain blueprints for them the further you progress. Blueprints will mostly be obtainable through both housing content and future events, so don't miss out on those. Through Tubby, you can also increase your trust rank, which can grant rewards such as primo gems and other things. This rank can go up in trust experience if you've crafted new furniture for the first time. In the trust rank menu, you can also claim realm currency, which will regenerate itself periodically. Right now it's 4 per hour, but it will go up in rate with higher adeptal energy, which you can get from crafting different furniture for the first time as well. With this realm currency you got, you can use it on the third main option Tubby has, and that is the realm depot. This is where you can use the realm currency on either new nature pieces for your realm, blueprints, or you can spend it on other things such as this new artifact exp material or transient resin. You'll notice that once you've gotten blueprints unlocked for some furniture, they'll require you to gather different types of wood. For birch wood, you can generally find the bright colored trees in most of Mondstadt, but from my initial look, I use the area around Cape Oath for these trees. For Kuhua trees, generally almost all of the Sunsetia trees you find will drop this type of wood, so it shouldn't be too hard to find while traveling. You can find a large amount of pine wood by attacking the trees around Wuwang Hill and in Dragon Spine. Fragrant Cedar usually drops off of smaller trees that you'll find around Mondstadt. I found a good amount of both Fir and Fragrant Cedar around Wind Whale Highlands. And for Bamboo segments, they're very easy to find around this warp. They should be very plentiful. For Sandbearer Wood, you can find them by attacking trees around Mingyun Village, and really anywhere that's near the coast. I'm not entirely sure these are the optimal tree farming spots, however these are my own first impressions of where I found the types of wood when I were looking for them. After this, you'll be able to craft different furniture or housing pieces through Tubby, and you'll be able to freely place them around or inside your main house. There is also an adventurer handbook-like quest menu for housing that you can find in the top right corner while in the Serena Teapot, which will let you gain some rewards for completing tasks. We can probably expect some things from the developers in the future, such as placing owned characters in your realm, gardening, and even few furniture interactions. Personally speaking, I think these future ideas are pretty great and I hope they get implemented soon. One thing I can hope for the future is that we gain new environments down the line, maybe even ones from new regions we get when they're added to the game. In conclusion, my opinion of housing so far on day 2 seems pretty good, aside from the time gating for crafting furniture, which can be somewhat sidestepped by using the vials of adeptal seeds to immediately finish your furniture crafts. 
Aside from that, I have high hopes for the future, and I will certainly be making more videos on my own personal experiences through this. Thanks for watching, and comment down below what settings you guys chose for your realm, and also what I can do to improve videos like this in the future. It's my first time doing something like this. So thanks, and I'll see you guys later.